being an event optimistic is fine but think of that feeling when you have put all your efforts into an event and the day comes you realize that something very obvious has gone haywire we are going to save you from getting that feeling ever again in the edition ahead i'm going to talk about how you can create an event app and organize the hassle free events hello everyone in this tutorial i'm going to tell you how you can add an events page into your app the events page allows you to create an app for all your events you can even import all your events from the third party platforms like eventbrite eventfold etc let's see how it's done go to our no code app building platform if you have already created an app log into your account and go to edit to add events page to your app else click on create your free app to build your app here we'll show you how you can add the events page to your new app first enter your business name here and click on next then choose your app category it's time to pick a color scheme you like select the device you want to test your app on based on your information the system will add certain pages to your app if you see that the events page is already added to your app click on it as click on view all search for events and click on the page to add it to your app the existing app owners can add the events page into their app in exactly the same way now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added events page this is your page name if you want you can change it as per your needs from here you can change the page icon if you want you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from our library or add your own custom icon image you can even upload two different images for mobile app and website now let's move on to the content section here you will see different options to add events let's check each option one by one click on eventful option here is the eventful option name if you want you can change it as per your needs from here you can change its icon if you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon here you need to provide the artist name click on add more to add multiple events from eventful from here you can delete the event full event now click on event bright option to add events from event bright here is the event bright option name if you want you can change it as per your needs from here you can change its icon if you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon here you need to provide event bright personal auth token you can click on i icon and follow our how can i get my event bright personal auth token key tutorial to get the event bright personal auth token once done you can check its preview on the simulator window click on add more to add multiple events from event bright from here you can delete the event bright event next comes facebook click on the option to add events from facebook here is the facebook option name if you want you can change it as per your needs from here you can change its icon if you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon here you need to provide facebook event page name or url you can click on i icon and follow our tutorial to integrate facebook events once done you can check its preview on the simulator window click on add more to add multiple events from facebook from here you can delete the facebook event tick mark this checkbox if you want to enable 
in app browser navigation. If you want, you can enable or disable open Facebook event as website option from here. Next up, Bands in Town. Click on the option to add event from it. Here is the Bands in Town option name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Here you need to provide the artist's name. Once done, you can check its preview on the simulator window. Click on Add More to add multiple events from Bands in Town. From here, you can delete the Bands in Town event. Now come Google. Click on the option to add events from Google. Here is the Google option name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Here you need to provide Google Calendar ID. You can click on I icon and follow our tutorial to make Google Calendar public. Now select the date range. Click on add more to add multiple events from Google. Here you can delete the Google event. If you want, you can enable or disable open Google as website option from here and tick mark the checkbox to enable in-app browser navigation too. From here, you can enable or disable show only future events option. Next comes meetup. Click on the option to add events from meetup. Here you need to provide meetup API key. You can click on i icon and follow our tutorial to easily get the meetup API key. Here is the meetup option name. If you want, you can change it as per your need. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now, you need to provide meetup group URL. You can click on i icon and follow our tutorial to easily get meetup group URL. From here, you can delete the meetup event. Last but not the least, custom. The custom option lets you to add your own event the way you want. Click on the option to add your own event. This is your own custom option name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change its icon. If you want, you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Let's add some event. Click on add event. A pop-up asking you to proceed to events dashboard will open. Give your confirmation to continue. This is your events dashboard. Here you can check and manage all your events, user list, general setting, booking and reviews. Now let's add an event. First of all, you need to create a category for your event. You will see a default category here. If you want, you can continue with it or create a new category. Click on add category to create a new one. A pop-up add category will open. Enter category name, select the status, subcategory sorting order and event sorting order. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see a new category has been created. Next comes subcategory. If you want to create a subcategory for your event, click here. Here click on add subcategory and provide necessary information to finish creating a subcategory for your event. It's time to add the event now. If you have not created a subcategory, click on events. You can even go to the events from subcategory section. Click on add event to add the event. Here enter event name. Now select the genre. From here you can add form to your event. Here describe your event such as language, cast, etc. Now provide a description of your event. If you want, you can add your own images and YouTube videos from here. Next comes adding venue and event timing. Enter venue name. Now provide date range that is start date and end date of the event. Select your preferred time format. Set the occurrence of the event that is once, daily, weekly 
as per your choice. Now enter the event start and end time and select the ticket class. Enter price per ticket and the total number of tickets for the selected class. Click on plus icon to add multiple timings for the same event. From here you can delete the timing. Tick mark this checkbox if you don't want to show price on your event listing. If you want to hide book button on event listing, tick mark this checkbox. Now enter terms and conditions of your event. Click on save and preview to check its appearance or simply click on save to move ahead. You will see a new event has been added. It's time to check out the available options. From here, you can filter the events based on their status. If you want, you can search the event here by its name or date. From here, you can select all the events, change their status or delete them in one go. You can even do the same with your selected few events. Now let's move to users list. Here you will see all your events listed by users through the app. From here you can search the events from their ID or name. You can even search the event for a set date range by selecting the start and end date here. Next comes general settings section. The first one under the general settings is configuration settings. Here you can add or change the email IDs on which you want to receive the inquiries. You will see multiple other settings here such as sort category alphabetically, share listings, show ticket price on event listing etc. which you can set as per your needs. Next up payment settings. Here you can select the currency code and type of payment mode. Once done click on save to continue. The next one is manage options. From here you can add, edit or delete the genre and ticket class. Once done click on save to continue. Next is language settings. Here you will see all the text and alert messages appearing in the events feature. If you want you can change them from here. Once done click on save to continue. The next is rules. From here you can set different rules for discount, tax and miscellaneous tax. Click on add new discount rule to add one. Provide necessary information like total amount, rule type, discount price and rate type. Once done click on save to continue. You will see a new discount rule has been added. From here you can edit this rule. This option allows you to change the status of the rule and from here you can delete the rule. You can even delete or change the status of different discount rules in one go from here. From here you can add, edit and manage the tax rule. Same you can do for the miscellaneous tax rules. Next comes coupon. From here you can add and manage all your coupons. The last on the list CMS pages. Here you can provide terms and condition and privacy policy of the events feature. Once done click on save to continue. Back to main menu. The next is manage booking section. As the name goes here you can manage all your event bookings. Here you can search the booking by booking id, event name or customer email. From here you can search the booking in a defined date range. Simply select the start and end date and search the booking. Last but not the least, manage reviews. Here you can search the review by booking id, event name or customer email. From here you can search the review in a defined range. Simply select the start and end date and search the review. Once you have finished, go back to creator software. From here you can hide the page. This option enables login on this page. From here you can copy the page URL. From here you can manage the SEO of this page. This option allows you to change the page style and color scheme. Click on it. From here you can change the entire page layout, page elements, 
color, font style and font sizes. You can even enable the back navigation button on header from this section. Once you are finished, click on save to continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If the edition is helpful, please hit the like and share and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more awesome stuff.